In Affinity Publisher, you can add picture frames. Now, there's a variety of picture frames. Well, there's two. So you've got picture frames there, so that's a picture frame, and you've got the elliptical picture frame. Now, it doesn't look very much at this point, but what you can do, you can add photos to it or images, etc. Now, you can add them from stock. You can also add them from the assets, though, to be honest, doesn't seem to work as well from the assets. But you can add them to stock, but you can also just simply go over here to properties. So with that tool selected there, so that one there, the picture frame ellipse, you can go to properties and you can resize it if there was something in there. Replace image to add a new image. So I'm just going to quickly go down and select one of these. There's a design there, gradients. So click open and you can see you've got design there and you can move it around. You can also resize it. Oops, just added a new one there. Probably best to go to the move tool to then manipulate it. If you've got the uh, ellipse tool again, simply it will just add another picture frame, which is not probably what you want. So it's best to use the move tool once you've actually created it. And you can then move it around and you can resize it. So just like that. What you can also do, you can resize the actual frame and you can also resize the whole thing. So that as well. So it scales up together. So you can make a much bigger image there. You can make that smaller again. So you can just see, you can create a whole load of different picture frames. And that's obviously using the standard picture frame. Now what you can also do, and I'm just going to remove these, you can create a number of other picture frames. Also what you can also do, before I go from that, just select that one. Again, create that. You can see it's still a picture frame. But what you can also do, you can go to layer menu and you can convert to curves. Obviously, you can't do any of these other things. You can't convert it to a picture frame. It is already a picture frame. So convert to curves. And now what you can do, you can go to the node tool and then you see all the nodes there. What you can do, you can simply click there and add additional to there. And again, what you can do, just go back to the up to here to the move tool and then you can replace image. And I'm going to select another one, put that design there. And you've got the design quickly. Yep, fine. And you can see you can move that around and you can resize it again. All those sort of things. But now you've got this lovely shape instead of just an ellipse. So I'm now just going to remove that because you can create other designs. Now you can go to like star or triangle or any of these other designs here. There's a whole variety of them. So I'm going to go star tool. So you just create a star. And now what you can do, it's best to manipulate the star before you start doing, turn it into a picture frame. Because once you've done that, you lose the aspect of the star. So simply go up here to the settings here and maybe number of points. I'm just going to go for a lot of points there, 15 points, say. Once you've done that, what you can then do is you can go to layer menu and you can go to convert to picture frame. So it's converted to a picture frame. Now what you can do, you can see, again, you've got the place. That's to select in there, the move tool, and you've got option there, obviously properties again, if you've got an image in there, but replace image, click that, and again, select an image there, maybe that one. And again, what you can do, you can manipulate the design, move it around, you can resize it, and so on, so on. You can resize the whole thing by going to that outer one there, or you can go to the inner one and resize the just the star itself and not the underlying image. Again, all times you can see, you can manipulate it over here in the layers. So that's view, studio, and layers. You can just remove it if you don't want that. Click there, or you can just delete it and so on, so on. So again, if you don't like that image, what you can do, you've got that selected, go over to the move tool there, simply click replace image. And again, select a different image, click open. And you see the design there. And again, you can continue to resize that. And of course, what you can do, just drag that over. You can also duplicate that design. So layer menu, and you can go down to options here for various things. You can also right click, and you've got options here, but there's no duplicate, which is very weird, isn't it? But what you can do, <laughs> go over here and find the duplicate. That's what I was looking for, duplicate. So layers, layers panel and duplicate. It's very strange it's not in the layer one. So 
Now, you can duplicate it. So you can create, obviously, two there. So you've got your design there. So, yeah, it's, it's very strange. Certain commands do not seem to be, obviously, in the layer menu. You think the duplicate one would be a very obvious one to have in the layer one. So you've got your two picture frames there. Of course, I don't want that. I just wanted to show you, you can duplicate it. You can also hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate it that way as well. Okay, but what you can also do, you can go to the, over here to the node. At this point, you can't do that because you need to convert it to a curve. Very strange, I know, you, but to do that, it doesn't do it automatically. So what you need to do is go to Layer Menu and Convert to Curves. Now you can go to the nodes and you can see you get all the access to the nodes. So you can just drag this out and you can add additional points as well. So you can click there and you can change that. And again, you can still go back to the Move tool and you can resize it. And you can still move it around that way. Now, also what you can do, I'm going to go to, where's the pen tool? It's the pen tool, create the pen tool, and you can add all kinds of different shapes. So you've got that design there, and of course you can manipulate that again with the node tool. So simply go to the node tool, and you can add additional points there. Manipulate it all kinds of ways to create that design. But what you can do, you can then convert it into a picture frame. So again, layer menu and go to convert to picture frame. So you can see again, you've got that cross wire there. And now what you can do, you go up to here. Again, you've got the move tool selected there, replace image. And again, I'm gonna select one of those designs there. Some, it will turn around and say, that's too big. And you can resize that and move it around. So you can see, you can do those sorts of things. What you can also do with a picture frame, you've got that picture frame there, so you can resize it as before. You can go to Layer Menu and Layer Effects. So Layer Effects, you can then go to Gaussian Blur, maybe blur it, maybe not particularly what you want to do, but you can also add maybe 3D bevel or maybe an outer shadow. So click on the outer shadow there, so you've got outer shadow, and you can change the radius and you can see you've got then a shadow around your frame. And again, what you can do, you can hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate that. So you can create multiple picture frames. And of course, they're all independent. So what you can do, you can always go, you know what, I want to change it. So replace image, click there and change, select a different one. There, click open there. And you can see your design there. And you can move it again, around again. And you can also scale, so you can reduce it down like that if you want to do that. And again, what you can do, you can go to properties and you can say stretch to fit, scale or max fit, either one or just none and done. Also what you can do, you can use text. I'm just gonna remove those. And with this, I'm just gonna go over to the text tool or you could use that frame text, but I'm just gonna go artistic. And I'm gonna create something just A, and B. So very simple. And of course you can change the fonts and all those sorts of things. That will maybe go for, well it's just R. Oh, that's all it gives you for that one. Bold, something like that. I'm just gonna, so you make it so it makes it a bit clearer. So you can see that. But what you can do, you can then use that as a picture frame as well. So layer menu, and unfortunately you can't but you can if you do convert to curves. Why it doesn't give you the option convert to picture frame is baffling. Personally, I think it should and just do the convert to curves for you. But it doesn't work that way. So convert to curves. So it's converted to curves. And then of course you can, you can see then you've got access to the various, go over to the layers and you can click the individual designs. You can see all the nodes. And again, all the nodes there, and you can manipulate it. So if you don't want the A that you've got there, you can just change that, go to the B, and you can manipulate that. Now, at this point, it's still not a picture frame. So what you need to do is, so you can see there's no cross there. What you need to do, go to a layer, and then you go to convert to picture frame. 
So now it's a picture frame. However, of course, it's very hard to see because, of course, black line against black. But what you can do, of course, go again up to the up here, and you'll see it's been turned to picture frame over in layers. Whenever it's a picture frame, you'll always see it suddenly become a picture frame. You can rename it if you just go on there and you can just call it something else. But it just means at least you can see it's a picture frame. So with that selected, replace image. Again, click there and then go down and maybe there, gradient or that one. And again, what you can also do, you can use stock and also you can use assets, but the assets for some weird reason do not work exactly in the way. I must admit, I found more issues with assets than, than obviously with stock or with just using replace image. For some weird reason, don't know why. So you can resize that and of course you can go to the B and maybe go up there. And again, what you still have to do, because that hasn't been converted, what you need to do is layer and convert to picture frame. Now it's picture frame, what you can still do, you can still go to the node, so you can still manipulate, it's still a picture frame, but you can still manipulate the B there, maybe create that, and again go to the move, and then replace image. Select, obviously a PSD file, or one of these other PNG, JPEG, or whatever, click open, and you can see the design there. And again, you can move that around, move, position it, you can scale it, do exactly the same you can do with all the other picture frames. Nip like that, resize the whole thing, resize the actual picture frame itself. Again, resize that and so on and so on. You can see the same, exactly the same things you can do with all of the picture frames, but we can do with type now. So you can create a whole load of things and again, replace image simply to change it maybe to a pattern design, or whatever. And again, all the time, you've got over here in layers, you can expand that out there, and you can see you've got your picture frame there. And it says picture frame again, and you can always deselect that. Very simple, just to remove it. So they're running through, like so you can use these, whole load of different shapes here, using the various shape tools, diamond tool, etc. You can also, of course, use standard picture frames you've got there, or you can use the pen. Um, certain people will put in the comments that you can use other ones as well. But you can also, of course, do other things. So it's like you've got that design there and you can manipulate, you can change, add strokes and so on and so on. So if you want to, go over here to stroke and I'm going to say add a width. So you can add a width to your design as well, to your picture frame. And it's still a picture frame. You see, it's still over here as a picture frame. So it hasn't been lost. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Publisher, as well as Photo, as well as Designer. Also, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciate what things have I done wrong. Probably lots of things I've done wrong. What things didn't I explain well? What things hopefully I explained well? And what other things would you like me to uh, explore and show how to use? Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.